So today I'm going to demonstrate using our base system, which has a nice lock on the side. So it attaches whatever top you put on it, locks it so it attaches to your counter. And I'm going to demonstrate the first one will be the spiralizer. So you put your vegetable on the end and whatever tip you want, depending on what you're cooking. Today I'm going to show you butternut squash. So we have one that has a slice. I'll come closer so you can see the edge. So these have a blade as well as two sets of little knives that come up. This one is just a thicker blade. So I'm going to demonstrate, I actually did a few already. I'm in a window so you can see it's nice and bright. So I've got a couple of blocks left and I'm gonna do them with the double knives that come up. This is the easiest little thing to work because you just slide this into the end, it pops in. We take our, I'm gonna my hands off here because I was touching my phone. So we take our piece of butternut squash, we attach it, be careful because it's very sharp, and we push it down to the end, lock it in place for spiralizing, and lock the base in place. So now it's tight on the counter, and I can just turn the wheel, Hitting the end, which means it's slide it back out. And so there's a little round piece at the end that won't go quite in. And we'll start with another one. The nice thing about this system is that you can buy the one base for the bottom and buy different adapters for the top if you like to use it for making your own meat. You can buy good cuts of beef and make your own hamburg, or you can use different grating systems. Okay. So, We'll use the chef knife, which has a nice cover over it, which I like, and just take these last two pieces and just slice them finely because they're going to go in with the other. so you can see what these look like. It just kind of makes it fun. You can do it with potatoes, you can do it with zucchini. So I've made them all very thin so that they'll cook faster even than big chunks. And I'm going to cook them in the oven in an ultra pro pan. So these are pans that are able to be used in the microwave, in the oven. And this is called the lasagna pan. It's a, a narrow, we've got taller casserole ones, but the lasagna pan is what I'm gonna use for this. Because if you have the vegetables stacked too high, they won't be as crispy. And I'm gonna add just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. A 
couple tablespoons of maple syrup. This will give our butternut squash a really nice flavor. And we're going to add half a teaspoon of pepper. teaspoon of salt. It'll be about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Depends on how salty you like your vegetables. I keep my spices in spice containers that keep them nice and fresh and the little measuring spoons fit right inside. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon on this. Imagine now cinnamon and maple syrup. This is a nice fall recipe. And again, you could add more cinnamon if you like it really cinnamony. If you just like a bit of cinnamon, if you don't like cinnamon at all, leave it off. So I'm just going to mix this up. So I had one butternut squash couple of tablespoons of olive oil and maple syrup. Mix it all through so I get my salt and pepper and cinnamon in all the pieces. And it's ready for the oven. So I'm going to cook this for probably 20 to 25 minutes. I'll start with I'll let you see what the finished product looks like. This is our ready for the oven. And when it comes out, I'll do a follow up with just a, a brief video and a few pictures to show you what it looks like when it's finished.